this is John Cooper, Precision Farming Sales Manager here at Swiderski Equipment. Today we'll be going through some videos on a properly set up a GPS system on the IntelliView 12 and IntelliView 4 displays. Hello, today are, we are going to show you how to set up your implement with a mapping switch. So in order to do that, you would go back up to your top menu bar. You would select the second one in from the right. That's your menu. From there you get several different places, you got settings, you want to make sure you're in the settings tab and you're going to select implement. Once in here we're going to set up a new one, I know it says test but we're going to put another one in. So in order to do this we're going to select drop down, we're going to select new, add new, and what I'll do is I'll put in test one as my implement. From there, it's going to give you kind of a tree drop down and it's going to want to know what the operation is. Obviously, you can see the type, the make, and the model. Now, it can be generic or if it, you want to, you can put in exactly what it is. So in this one, we're going to do, we're going to do application tillage. And then as the type, we're going to select, uh, let's do a strip applicator. And then we can go down to the make. There's several different makes you can pick in here or you can add a new one. I'm just gonna add a new one. We're gonna do a test apply. Um, and then you can select the model that that is as well. So we're gonna add a new and we're just gonna put in test one, two, three. So once you have the whole tree filled out, then you can go ahead and save. Once you save it, it should come up on the screen for you here. Okay, so now that we got this on here, we can see that's our test one. We're doing application tillage, strip till, everything that we implemented in. You're gonna to wanna to go to the right side of the screen and now you're gonna make sure you want to put in the measurements. Okay, so in the measurements tab, we're gonna tell it if it has a right or left offset. Generally, you're not gonna see a right or a left offset unless you have some special implement you're pulling. So that's gonna stay at zero. The bar distance is basically the distance from the hitch point to where the application point is gonna happen. And that's crucial if you're going to map acres. So in this instance, we're just gonna tell it that we're 180. That would be 15 feet back, okay? Hitch to axle distance, that'd be if you had a couple sets of different axles if that you want for turning in places like that. For this case, we're just gonna leave it at zero. Um, and then you're going to want to put in your application width. So in this case, we're going to tell it it's a 30 foot machine. So we're going to put in 360 inches, it's 30 feet. And done. Now the next step, you would scroll down just the hair, and then you got the skip overlap button. So if we need to space things out evenly, or if we needed some sort of overlap, this is where you would do that. So in this case, I'm just for. Um, testing purposes, we're going to put an overlap in. In this case, on a strip till rig, you wouldn't need it, but we're going to put it in. So we go down, and now you're going to tell it I want an overlap of 12 inches. So what that does is automatically changes your swath width for your auto guidance 12 inches narrower than your application width so that you get coverage like it shows on the screen here. Once you have that all done, there is an application control button that would be used only if you have a controller that's going to control the implement that you're using. So once that's all set up, we're gonna hit the menu button, we're gonna go back, and then you're gonna see down from your implement, you got your implement or vehicle implement configuration. You're gonna to wanna to select that. And for mapping, you'll see you have a work source or work switch source one and two. So if you want coverage logging while you're running, I would pick, you can pick any one of these buttons, but I usually, if you want it on your uh, remotes, EHR1, that's the front. So we want to go to EHR1, that would be your rear remote. That's normally the one that you're going to pick the implement up and down. When you select that, that will now, if you watch the arrow up front, if I select the remote forward, 
now you can see the arrow goes down. So that is using my number one EHR remote to turn my coverage mapping on so that it will paint behind the implement while you're doing your application. Now you see you have a work switch too. That would be used if you wanted two switches to be activated before the process would start mapping. And you can do that by selecting the next one. So if I wanted EHR1, and maybe I wanted front EHR2. So there's an and or an or. So if you have a select, selected and, both of these procedures need to happen in order for this to go to the down position and start the map. If you're selected or, that means any one of these work switches can be used and then that will change from an up arrow to a down arrow and vice versa for mapping. Normally we would switch this to none. This will be grayed out and you use one work switch. Once that is all configured, you can go back to your run page and then you can start your application. And that's how you set up an implement and a work switch.